the age of just 21, Juan Bernat uprooted from his native Valencia to sign for German giants Bayern Munich. For the Spanish wingback came the challenges of a new culture, a new language, new beginnings. It's difficult at first because it's all new. It's a new city, a new language, and there's the weather. That's something I really miss, but I get on well with my teammates. They try to help out as much as they can. And I'm lucky that the entire technical staff is Spanish. And a lot of my teammates are Spanish too. Tiago, Xavi, Xavi. To be honest, I can't complain. The opportunity to swap the Costa Blanca for Bavaria came out of the blue in 2014, after 15 years with his boyhood club. It was the end of the season and my contract was coming to an end. I got offers from several teams, including teams in Spain, but I was with Valencia and I didn't want to leave for another Spanish club. But then I got an opportunity from this amazing team and with Pep Guardiola, who called me. And being realistic, I couldn't say no to a great club like this one. I knew it would be difficult. It's a very strong team, one of the best in the world. So the competition is really fierce, and it's tricky. In fairness, the coach has shown a lot of trust in me, and I think I've repaid him in every game I've played. Fitting into Pep Guardiola's vision for the German heavyweights was not a difficult transition. No, I went on board up. I knew how Barca played and the style of football, so I more or less knew what to expect. Perhaps what surprises you when you first meet him is his passion for football. But when you get to work, it's all about the ball and about what he wants from your position. Yes, he does like to see great mobility. He might move a winger into the middle and so on. He always wants to make sure every position is taken. So. If you move out of position, then someone else will fill in for you. Comfortable as a fullback or further forward, versatility comes naturally to Bernat. It was actually at the Under-20s World Cup after Alex Grimaldo, who's now with Benfica, was ruled out through injury. The coach told me he thought I could play in his position as a winger and that he wanted to use me in that role. That's when it all started. Not long afterwards, I started to play out wide. In fact, I played on the wing during my last year with Valencia and I've stayed there ever since. In today's football, wingers are very attacking and that's the style of football we play here at Bayern. It suits my own game very well. Bernat's positive approach to the game brought silverware in his first season with Bayern. He played in all but three matches in the Bundesliga, as Guardiola's men romped to the 2015 title. It was the first title of my career as a professional, and to be honest, I was really pleased. I think we performed extremely well throughout the season. And well, we celebrated in the traditional way. We celebrated on the pitch and drank beers with the fans and so on. It was a great experience. It's different to Spain. The fans here are amazing, they're incredible. The stadium is full every game. No matter if you win, lose or draw, every match is very exciting. The fans really do get top marks. But change is on the way at Bayern. Guardiola recently announced that he will leave Bavaria for Manchester City in the summer. In football, teams changed coaches and Pep wanted to leave. It was his decision and we have to respect it. Guardiola is very professional and won't be thinking about Manchester City yet. He's totally focused on Bayern and on finishing the season well. And when it comes to the end of the season, then he'll start thinking about Manchester. Guardiola's successor at the Allianz Arena has already been announced. Italian Carlo Ancelotti. I don't know him personally, but everyone says he's a great manager. All the Real Madrid players speak very highly of him, both as a person and as a coach. So we all hope to have good times with Ancelotti. Another coach Bernat is keen to impress is Vicente del Bosque. The 23-year-old already has seven full international caps, including a goal on his debut. 
despite struggling with a groin injury this season. He's hoping to be in the Spain manager's plans as the European Championship approaches. It'll be difficult to get a place in the national team. Unfortunately, I was injured for most of the season and wasn't able to get much playing time. But now I'm recovering and I hope to end the season well, to have a chance to go. Obviously, it's up to the coach, but I have to play my part and that's exactly what I'm going to do.